Hi and welcome to your fourth tutorial on the task dialog. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add a radio button to your task dialog. Um, this is pretty similar to adding your own custom button so we're going to have to create an object of the task dialog radio button class. So we'll go ahead and start that. So task dialog radio button. Let's name it td rb equals the new task dialog radio button and the first input like before is the name so we'll just name it radio but rb1 and the second input is the text that's the, or the caption of the radio button so we'll just name it choice 1 And we'll just go td dot add. I mean td dot controls dot add, and there'll be t task dialog radio button. Alrighty. Um, we'll just go ahead and copy this again to make add one more radio button because it's pretty pointless to have one d one radio button. We'll just change their names around. And we'll just change the text to caption choice two. So now, if you if you run it, you have two choices, which are mutually exclusive. So that's good. Um, now I'm going to show you how to capture the result of which radio button was selected when the user pressed cancel or OK. I don't exactly know how to do this the proper way, but I use a trick, and I'm going to teach you that. So to do to do that, we're gonna have to uh, declare a new local variable, and we'll just name it, we'll just make it an int called choice, and by default default we'll set it to one. Um, and now when the user clicks on the radio button, we're gonna change the value of choice. So you'll be Task dialog tdrb dot click we'll go plus equals to and we're gonna add a inline event handler here so yes just some arbitrary letter oops go equals to greater than sign and we'll change the value of choice here so because this is the first choice we'll just leave it to choice equals to one. We'll just copy this over, just paste it there, change the names around, and this will be choice two. Okay. Now when the user presses OK and he has clicked the second choice, our choice int variable will be equal to two. So let's add the code for this. So if we'll have to check if these are pressed OK first. So T D R equals to task dialog result dot OK. Um, and we'll have to use the two and signs because it's an inclusive wall. Uh, choice equals to one. And we'll just copy this over to accommodate for the other choice. Else, if um, task dialog result equals to OK and choice equals to 2. Just add a message box. Dot show choice 1. And just copy over the code for our second choice. Just save it, run the program. And now when you select choice one, message box saying choice one will pop up, and choice two, message box of choice two will pop up. Also, um, since since I've set the choice to one by default, I should probably ch make this ready button 
selected by default so I'll go tdrb dot default equals to true oops and now if you run the program you'll see that this choice is actually selected by default alright thanks for watching and see you guys next time